most people I personally know are much more interested in the new Tesla Model Y, which is called Juniper versus the Tesla Model 3 Highland, which was just revealed. Why? Well, I think the size, the crossover, and the practicality of the Model Y, but we're all just sort of wondering when it will be released. That said, we do have some pictures and images on what the Tesla Model Y will look like, or at least is very likely to look like anyway. I don't normally share these kinds of things with you because they're all over the internet. However, I do believe these images are gonna be very accurate, probably to within 98% of what we'll see when the car is finally unveiled, which I think will happen by the end of the year. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And the Tesla Model Y and Juniper will, I'm guessing, most likely have the same upgrades that the Tesla Model 3 has. Could have a new battery pack as well. I think Tesla are aiming for that. I don't think they're going to, they want to make the Model Y you know, exactly the same as the Model 3. I think they want to increase the range in the base model variant. However, these images of what the Model Y will look like if you just basically carry over the Model 3 changes, which is most likely, considering Tesla has in the past, we know that Tesla has revealed the amount of parts in the Tesla Model 3 that are the same in the Y, 70%, they say. 70% are the same. So very, very similar cars, very likely considering the, well, the previous Model 3 had the same lights, basically the same body in general, mostly in terms of the front design that the Model Y has today. Therefore, it would make sense the Model Y would follow the new Model 3 changed, and this is how it looks. Personally, I think it looks great. As a lot of people are saying it, they think the old version looks better which I find really hard to believe that people really think that. Is that just like that thing where you don't like change and so you, therefore you criticize anything that changes? Some people are like that, but I personally think the new Model 3 looks way better than the previous version. I'm a big fan of the new lights, both the front lights and the rear lights. A lot of people are saying it has no character now. It's like a boring appliance. I really don't agree with that. Do you though? Let me know what you think in the comments. Now, there's been a number of different images shared online of what the new Model Y will look like. And I'm not convinced that most of them are accurate, but this here, I think, is almost exactly what the Model Y will look like. Do you like it? Do you think it's an improvement over the existing model? What are your thoughts on it? Now, one of the things that really surprises me about the Model Y is the fact that it doesn't really look that much bigger than the Model 3. However, to be fair, there will be some changes I need to point out with the Model Y likely to be different versus the Model 3. Now, the biggest one is this, the new Model 3, it has a bigger boot. Now, no one seems to really know why that is. Bigger boot space, it's gone up in size by 5%. So it went from 560 liters to 590 something liters. It's actually the biggest boot for its size of sedan that I know of. That's quite a practical, um, concept really, but the Model Y boot is much, much bigger and more practical in terms of its actual shape, loading space, etc., than the Model 3. So, will the new Model Y get a bigger boot as well? I don't know because no one seems to really know just yet why the boot space is bigger in the new Model 3. What are the changes that have been made? Is there a smaller battery pack? Is the floor lower? I mean, no journalists have actually commented on this. I don't know why. Strange. Now, these images were received very positively by enthusiasts. People are saying they really think this is legit. This is what the new Model Y will look like. Um, when Tesla reveal it, it'll basically look exactly like this. Do you agree though? What do you think? Now these images here come from La Mian Design. So I'll put a link in the description below to their Twitter page. You can check them out. And the other thing I'm curious about guys is, are you waiting for the new Model Y like I am? I've got a few friends who are definitely holding out. They want the new Model Y. They think it's if it has all the same changes that the current, the new Model 3 has, it's worth waiting for and paying an extra couple of thousand for. Now, the long range version of the Model 3 here in Australia, it's only $1,000 more. That's Australian dollars. That's only about $650 US dollars more than the previous version. In China, the price has gone up by about 12%, but in many places across Europe, the price has only gone up by about $1,000. 
Is the new one going to be worth paying an extra thousand dollars for? I absolutely think it is. You're getting a new screen, right? You're getting quite a few new updates, which definitely improve the car. The suspension changes in and of themselves. The acoustic, acoustics are massively better. The quietness in the car is significantly improved. The ride quality is significantly improved. Reviewers seem to think it's a huge, huge upgrade. And they're all agreeing on that one fact. So what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.